can you solve this math challenge? Here's the question. By the way, this question comes from the British Mathematical Olympiad, round one, question number four. So given these equations, x squared minus 4y plus 7 equals to 0, y squared minus 6z plus 14 equals to 0, and z squared minus 2x minus 7 equals to 0, wherein x, y, and z are all real numbers, then our goal is to solve for the values of x, y, and z. Now you can pause this video if you want to give this problem a try. Now suppose you pause this video. Now let's see if you got the correct answer. Alright. So to answer this question, of course, let's have these three equations. Now let's observe something. In the first equation, we found the variable x and the variable y. On the second equation, we have the variable y and the variable z. On the third equation, we have the variable z and the variable x. So how do we solve the values of x, y, and z that satisfies this equation? Now the only thing that we can solve the values of x, y, and z is to combine these three equations. And if we do that, we get x squared minus 4y plus 7 plus y squared minus 6z plus 14 plus z squared minus 2x minus 7 equals to 0. And now, we can erase the parentheses because the operation is just addition. Now observe, we have positive 7 and negative 7. This is just 0. Alright. Now, let's have this equation. Let's focus on this. And we can put this negative 2x beside this x squared like this. And we can put this negative 4y besides y squared. And we can put this negative 6z beside z squared like this. Now, another observation is this. If we add 1 to this expression x squared minus 2x, and we add 4 to this expression y squared minus 4y, we add 4 rather, and we add 9 to this expression z squared minus 6z, Take note, those results can be factored nicely because x squared minus 2x plus 1, we can factor this out as x minus 1 raised to the power of 2. y squared minus 4x plus 4, we can factor this out as y minus 2 raised to the power of 2. Finally, z squared minus 6z, this is z rather, plus 9, we can factor this out as z minus 3 raised to the power of 2. Of course, this is y. This is why, sorry for that. Now, notice that we have a constant of 14. In 14, we can write this as 1 plus 4 plus 9. Therefore, we can replace this 14 as 1 plus 4 plus 9. And this one, we can add to these two terms, like this. And this 4, we can add to these two terms, y squared minus 4y, and this 9 is right over here, z squared minus z plus 9. Again, this is z, this is a type of, of mine, and this is y, of course. Now, meaning the entire equation, we can rewrite this as x minus 1 raised to the power of 2 plus y minus 2 raised to the power of 2 plus z minus 3 raised to the power of 2 equals 0. So this is just this and equate to 0. So we can use this equation and continue solving for the values of x, y, and z. Now, since we know x, y, and z are all real numbers, now since they are all raised to the power of 2, it follows that their values must be always greater than or equal to 0. And in order to have a result of 0, it follows that all of them must be equal to 0. So we can say that x minus 1 equals to 0, y minus 2 equals to 0, and z minus 3 equals to 0. So we can now solve for the values of x, y, and z. And on the first equation, add 1 on both sides, we get x equals 1. On the second equation, we get y equals 2. 
and on the third equation we get z equals 3 and there you have it this is the only values of x y and z real number x y and z that satisfies this equation so let's try if this uh, x is 1 so we have 1 squared we have 1 minus 4y y is 2 so we have minus 8 1 minus 8 plus 7 this is 0 all right y squared y squared is 2 so this is 2 squared or 4 minus 6 z z is 3 so we have negative 18 so we have 4 plus 14 is 18 minus 18 is 0 all right and z squared is 3 so this is just 9 minus 2x x is 1 so we have minus 2 so we have 9 minus 2 is 7 minus 7 is also 0 therefore our answer to this question what is the values of x y and z that satisfies this equation and our answer is x equals 1 y equals 2 and z equals 3 and as always we are done